Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the road, United Sheds of America. Terrible day to start a road trip, but we're doing it anyway. That's a heavy box. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Got the van, all decked out, ready to go. Battery on my camera is about to die. Don't worry, I got another one in that bag. It's been snowing all night, and we're going on a long road trip. What a day to start. What a day to start. Oh well. United Sheds of America season two, let's go. So it has been storming for a couple days and I was gonna try to get out of here yesterday morning, but it was just not doable with the wind and the snow and everything. So here we are, we're day late. I don't even really know where I'm going. I got uh, a trip lined up in Oklahoma. I got a trip that I could do in Kentucky. Uh, we got like seven to 10 days on the road. Let's go knock some states out. Who knows where we'll end up. Just outside of Quanah, Texas, like Quanah Parker. If you guys haven't read Empire of the Summer Moon, you should. I'm so tired. Like, started driving today at 8 a.m. I've been driving all day. Check out this rest area. I'm gonna take a nap right there. I'm so tired and then I'm gonna drive the three more hours I got to go. We're going shed hunting in Oklahoma in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Oh, quick night. Bye fast. Time to get dressed to go find a shed. Let's knock out the first state of the year, baby. The dream. Come on. Where we are is uh, down here in the bottom is where I I shot a couple deer out of this. It's nice to be able to show backgrounds. Yeah, oh yeah, without mountaintops. Yeah. First shed of the day right there. That's a turtle shell. So turtles are just like deer. So once a once a year they drop their shell and that you guys have seen iguanas. That's where iguanas come from. They run away and become an iguana. So if you look up in these trees somewhere, you probably find them. It's a nice turtle shell. Does it count? Tell me in the comments. So the property that we're on is a permission piece that my buddy Ryan has and really good sized piece. He said he picks up usually a dozen or so, maybe more antlers off of this piece every year. So we're walking through this kind of thick blackberry stuff. Some of it's real thorny. Food plot up here. There's some feeders over here. And uh, I have high hopes. I think we're gonna get one found. So these are the blackberry thorns that we're hiking in. I call these stop you in your track thorns because there's thorns that you can push through and hike through, and there's thorns you cannot. These are the kind you cannot. I know I've talked about it before, but these sheds have a tendency to bed up when it gets like this. They'll be laying right down. They're a lot harder to find. He got one. He found one. Right over there. Right where I just was and where he just was. I told you they were bedded. I don't want to say anything bad about Ryan, but he definitely went behind me and stole my line. I mean, I just had barely walked there, and he disrespects me. By going behind me and finding the shed that I didn't see. It's messed up. It's ow. You guys hear that? Thorn, bro. Yeah. Man, they hide so good. I've stepped on it. White. Let me see where he's a couple years old, but nice. You went behind me and stole my spot. <laughs> nice antler. They do exist. Now we know they exist. Yeah. Throw on the ground so you can see what they would look like. Yeah, literally it was some stuff like All right. Like that. All right, now I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> now we're keyed in. Three full years of his left side. 
That's a big horn. That's the eight that I was talking about. He's freaking sweet. Yeah. I'll show you a picture of him. This Woo. He, uh, <laughs> he's a freaking giant. Let's see. That's one of the deer we were hoping to turn up today. Yeah. Yeah, not this year's shed, but I mean, maybe. Score. I didn't know it was a horn. Because it's so destroyed. But I, I just did through this little gap. Uh huh. And I saw it white, but from over there, I didn't even think it was a horn. And then I look over and I see his, uh, I see his other one. But he took this thing out. Oh, behind the tree. I was like, well, I'm a blind man. It's, Holy cow, they ate it. I can't believe they didn't get the other one. This well, is him, though. That's his right side. Yeah, that's the set. Nuts, Sad. Man. Oh, my gosh. They just, I've never seen one that destroyed. Well, sometimes in the ones in these trees, man, the squirrels, yeah, the squirrels get you. I mean, that one is just feel safe. Was right outside of the, that's wild. <laughs> that makes for an interesting set, Yeah, huh? that sucks. Yep. Little suckers, man, those things. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a lot of horns off him now. I, uh, I was, I hadn't seen him in person since I missed him mm -hmm. a couple, uh, three years ago. <laughs> and I fished this for years on this side and have never seen that. It's an old one too, yeah, huh? that's what I'm saying. That's Oklahoma. We checked her off. Woo, look at that double brow. That's, that's the buck I killed last year. Really? Yeah, that's the, the eight point. That's this Sweet. buck. Look. Check this out, that's wild. <laughs> That's awesome. I that's can't cool. believe you just found I have his right side at the house. Really? Yeah, that's the one I showed you this morning. The heavy one. Oh, yeah. That's that's his right side. Freaking sweet. Dude, got, that is awesome. We got it. We got Oklahoma, baby. That's that deer. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. That's that deer. Yeah, look, so you can see how big that brow tie yep. is sticking up on that one side. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. There it is, folks. Oklahoma. Can you believe it? I knew that we were going to find some today. Because, you know, I already found a few, so <laughs> that's good to know. But right here by this beautiful pond, I've just been like walking around just kind of like marveling. This is one of the coolest places ever. So we got Oklahoma knocked off, but we're not done. We're going to go find some more sheds because we're here. Might as well make a day out of it. See that really I white? see hair everywhere. Right there. We're just looking at this crazy spring. You. And then Ryan turns around and says there's... Oh, yeah, there is hair right here. Maybe the, maybe a yeah, dead, dead deer around. It could be. Is it a bone? Oh, it is. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Look at that sucker. Squirrel Central, That's bro. That's funny. Weird. Probably too late to salvage the meat, huh? <laughs> it looks. Was it brown? Yeah, it looks like a brown. I just, the only reason I saw it is the curve. Okay. Yeah, that was a good spot, man. Road bones, dude, you can't beat them. We're just... Oh, it's not around. You're white, huh? Yeah. I was looking too. Oh, it's a good antler. Yeah. Pretty. There. Nice. Last year's. Pretty. So yeah. hard. All right. Well, we got Oklahoma knocked out. Good little hike. Ryan had a better morning than I did. Yeah, I got three of them. Right. Not bad. Not bad. Shed but, Ryan. My name now. Shed. No, Shed Ryan. Yeah, I like it. Honestly, Shed it's Ginger. got a good, got a good yeah, ring it to it. We're gonna go grab some breakfast now, which, as you guys know, is important to me. Get a load of that cutie. Around. Well, folks, that was Oklahoma. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I was here for one day, which is always great to get it done in one. And now I am off to uh, Tennessee, nine and a half hours away where I'm meeting up with my buddies from Tethered. So it is 8 p.m. I'm gonna drive until midnight or 1 a.m. and sleep, and then pick it up in the morning. So see you on that one. I also need to give a huge thank you to my buddy Ryan Haynes for having me out, for letting me go hike his stuff, um, helping me find some sheds here in Oklahoma. If you guys haven't heard of Ryan, check him out. I'm going to link his socials in the description of this. He is a super talented videographer and he, and a, well, mostly a photographer. He's a good videographer, but like really known for his photography work. 
And then he also is a killer with a bow. He's killed some giant whitetails and some great Western big game. So go check out Ryan. Thanks, buddy, for having me out.